Carpet Owings' vision for 800 North High Street was really to capitalize on what's going on here in the Short North. When you look at the Short North, you're really talking about the hottest submarket within the hottest city in the Midwest. We were able to uh, tie up this site for a very high price, which meant that we had to be very, very creative as to how we could use it, uh, sliding in as many uses as we could. So this site is 10 stories, 150,000 square feet. There are four levels of hotel, three levels of Class A office space, retail, restaurant, and a parking garage. So this is quintessential mixed-use development site. When we approach a building like this, we're constantly evaluating it from a bunch of different viewpoints, right? Energy efficiency is an important pillar of that. Uh, you know, how the uses come together, the aesthetics is also very important, and as well as occupant comfort. Our owners who are interested in uh, efficiency and overall long-term building performance appreciate the Mitsubishi VRF system. And one of the benefits of the Mitsubishi VRF is that there are different system types that can all be packaged into the overall infrastructure for the project. Versatility of it is really huge, especially in the hotel application, because you can have somebody in this room that wants cooling and in this room that wants heating, and the system allows for that to happen, and it uses itself to reject heat one way or the other without projecting it to the outside, which would normally be way more costly. This particular design, we have 21 outdoor hyperheat heat recovery units. In an area like Columbus, Ohio, we have winter temperatures near zero degrees. In fact, today it's 24 out. This particular site, we do not have supplemental heat, nor do we have any concern with auxiliary heat for the space as the outdoor hyperheat units are able to maintain set point temperature even in a zero degree day. This far north, it's incredibly important to have as much heat as possible. VRF is normally sized off the heating load of the building, so it's incredibly important to have as much heat as possible for especially guest comfort. Here they actually made a, a mechanical platform that contains 90% of the systems in this building. And the Mitsubishi units, they're allowed to sit so close together and still run efficiently, so we were literally able to just stack them in a line and then another one and like another one and everything was just compact. That, was all, that also included the Mitsubishi Doaz unit. That platform technically sits on the same level as the rooftop bar, so that whole space that's used for the rooftop bar probably wouldn't have existed if it wasn't for that. We really noticed the combination of available savings by going with Mitsubishi VRF. As we built shell office space, uh, we were able to, to set up the infrastructure to, uh, in a plug and play method where we wouldn't have to invest in 100% of the infrastructure up front. As users came in, we could expand the system, add on to it as needed. At this site, we have Mitsubishi Electric train controls as the head end control system, and that allows the facility maintenance, a window into each room specifically, adjust temperatures, troubleshoot individual units, but really the benefit is for facility maintenance to allow them to have an ability to look at the entire building. With the modular nature of the VRF system, if one of the modules would happen to need to be serviced, we still have the vast majority of our units, of our rooms in the hotel are still up and running. So it really gives us a strategic advantage over some of our other competitors.